What's going on guys, it's Chu here bringing you a, another review slash reaction on Fairy Tale 100 Years Quest. And I gotta say that this chapter was a little bit everywhere, but we finally find out what kind of magic is needed for Athena. But before I continue guys, make sure to comment, subscribe, all that good jazz if you're new to the channel as it helps out tremendously and I would appreciate the support. But let's get to it. So, we start this chapter off with seeing the continuation of the fight with Luso and Minerva. I thought Minerva was going to be crushed. We all probably thought that the way the cliffhanger was with the last chapter. But we have Minerva going inside of Luso, which we see her then kind of like enchanting this weird spell and having herself explode outside of it of Luso, which was crazy to look at honestly it's something we had never seen from Minerva before and we see that it was all a dream or it was fake because she was never actually in that body which i kind of i guess we kind of expected and the tables are turned once again in favor of the sisters we see that they turn uh, urza Jalal, Jalal and Minerva into animals and lose their magical abilities and so this of course puts them in a bind I thought they were adorable we have Minerva being a fox we have Urza being a cat and Jalal being a dog which were all adorable I think that that was fun to see something that of course isn't very common but then we get to see what's going on with the at the guild hall or i guess you could say the where the owl uh, headquarters is at and we have the guild master here saying that he needs the magic of a wizard uh, because they need it to revive or make athena human because that is something that she wants and then he's the only one that's able to do so but apparently the only magic he needs is that of dragon slayers of course, this puts Rogue and Wendy in a bad position because of who they are. They are both dragon slayers. And we see that I love that God Serena was mentioned by Grey. And we find out once again that God Serena is in fact dead. This is just a doll, more like a revived corpse that is just moving around. He's not a, the real God Serena. As we know, he died a long time ago at this point by Acnologia so and seeing God Serena just kind of throws us off it just does because he was the strongest uh, wizard in Magnolia until he betrayed them so it is crazy but we have their magic being literally drained from them which sucks because we see at Carla Rogue excuse me Carla Froche and I can't remember the other, um, Sting's cat. I can't remember his name. Gosh, I wish I remember his name. We see the reactions like, oh no, this means that Sting and Natsu are in trouble. And we see that we get to the fight that we have, they have Athena at that. And we see that she actually kind of compliments Sting because she was actually going to try to recruit him to be part of it because he uses light magic. And. I love how Yukino is like a huge fan right now. Obviously, she probably has a crush on him, but she's fanning over the fact that he's getting recognition. And I love how it goes to his head. He actually thinks, you know, oh, look at me, Natsu. I'm, I'm more famous than you are. Kind of attitude like that, you know, feel that he's better. And then, of course, whenever she turns to Natsu, it's like, I know you. You're the famous dragon slayer, uh, fire dragon slayer, and you're the son of Igneo. It's like I know all these things and like I love the little shot of Sting just being like completely dead faced like really like you're gonna compliment me and then talk about him and then their magic gets drained immediately which obviously sucks I hate seeing them but now she has their magic and four of the uh, of the other dragon slayers I mean I think there's seven or have been drained four is a lot especially who they are so I wonder what's going to happen. We see the Lucy and Yukino jump into the fray and we'll see what happens. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like and I'll catch you all later.